walk you through how to set up a 433 megahertz transmitter and receiver set. Uh, in this particular use case, we're gonna be controlling RF outlets. So as you can see here, I have a little night light um, hooked up to this RF outlet, a little Hedwig the Owl. Like always, all of these parts and components will be listed in the description. You're gonna need the six female to female jumper cables, a 433 megahertz transmitter and receiver set, a Raspberry Pi, as well as um, an RF outlet pair. So with all that said, let's uh, go ahead and put this together. So the first thing you need to do is hook up the trans transmitter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug um, this red cable to the VCC pin, which in my case is the middle pin. And then we have ground, and I'll just have that be this brown cable here. And then finally, the data pin will be this orange pin. So how we're, we're gonna hook this up to the Pi like so. Uh, the red pin will be hooked up to five volts. So that's the first pin on the top row. We have ground going to the fifth pin on the bottom row here. So this is ground. And then finally the data pin will be hooked up to GPIO number 17, which is right next to the ground pin. And that's done. So the transmitter is all hooked up. Now we need to adjust this receiver. Um, there, as you can see here, there's four pins, but we're actually only going to use three of them. So if we flip it over, we can see the labels. Uh, the first pin that we're gonna hook up is ground. So I'm just gonna take this gray cable here and hook it up to ground. And then we're gonna hook up to the data pin. So there's two data pins. Um, you wanna hook up the data pin on the farthest side. So the one closest to VCC. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then finally, you wanna hook up VCC um, with your last jumper cable. And then now we're ready to hook it up to the Pi. So just like the transmitter, this will be powered by the five volt, by five volts. So just plug it in right next to that other five volt um, jumper cable. Next, we're gonna plug in the ground cable. So that is gonna just be the third pin on the top row. And then finally we're left with this data pin. Uh, that's just gonna go right next to GPIO 17, so I believe that's GPIO 27. And now we are good to go, um, physical setup wise. So with all that said and done, let's head over to the terminal and get some things set up in our environment to get the these components working properly. So I'm over here on my other computer now and I've just launched a browser navigated to pypy.python.org and this is the rpy-rf uh, package. So this is sort of what I'm basing the, the tutorial off of. Um, if you ever get lost, this is a good place for some reference on, on setup and installation. And it also provides some of the test scripts that we'll be using. So with all that said, let's go and fire up a SSH terminal. SSH session. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is install um, pip for Python 3. We're going to be using Python 3 uh, for this, in this case. Um, because that's what the scripts are written in and yeah. So type in sudo app get install python 3-pip
So yeah, as you can see, I already have it here, but it'll most likely uh, download or update for you. So then after that's done, go ahead and type sudo pip3 install rpi-rf. So a similar case here, I already had it installed, but now that that's done, we can go ahead and import the send and receive Python scripts. So I've already done that. If I do ls, you can see here, uh, I have the receive and send script. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and map the on off codes for that particular outlet. Um, so I'm just going to type Python, Python 3 um, receive dot py. Now, as you can see, it's listening for uh, the codes here. If I hit the on button, we should get a code. So there, there you go. You can see that I press the on button and the light turned on and we are given three different um, sets of information. The first being this unique like uh, integer value and then we have a pulse length and protocol number. So if I press the off button for that particular outlet we should also see a similar code. So there you go. You can see that I pressed off and the this integer value right here changed as well as the pulse length, but however the protocol number um, stayed the same. So we can hit Control C to stop the script. So now you're given several options. You can jot down all these numbers for later use. I actually recommend that. But now we're going to feed it into the the send script. Uh, this information here, these three values, and then it should turn on or turn off uh, based on which uh, code sequence we send. So if we do python3 send.py, okay, um, we're given this error, so we didn't supply it with any information. So what we need to do is supply it with pulse length, protocol, and code. Uh, we don't really need these two right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and this time specify those things. So dash p, we're going to turn it on in this case. So we're going to use uh, this sequence right here. So five, three, three, zero, six, nine, one. Oh, oops, my bad. Pulse length, which is one seven four. Protocol dash t is one, and then now the code is that code, which I type previously. So it's five three three zero six nine one. And as you can see it sent that sequence and the light is on. And then if we send the off code here, one seven three dash or one and then this code is 700 it should turn off the light and there we go so that's essentially um, you know the quick start guide of how to get the RF or interact with RF's uh, devices with the Raspberry Pi you can definitely edit the send uh, script to sort of have those values sort of baked in um, and then sort of automate some stuff around your your house or your place uh, just a just a note from my experience uh, these this method of interacting with sort of analog devices which aren't easy to automate it's a very cost-effective way to, to essentially implement a smart outlet um, and also the range is pretty good because you don't really need line of sight it'll penetrate through most uh, materials so that's really cool and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today uh, like and comment and I hope you subscribe as well it's always appreciated and stay tuned for more upcoming videos peace